Shalom. Preparing for the Sabbath, Parasha, Pinchas, Phineas, and it's all about the picture of Mashiach, Yeshua, who is to come. Now, within the scene of setting the stage of what's happening in the time frame prophetic time frame when the time closing on towards the border of the Jordan crossing the Jordan entering the land so this is now after they wandered through the wilderness Joshua is appointed and Israel had their little anomaly where they engage with the daughters of Midian worshipping at Baal Peor, the idol called Peor. Now Baal Peor, I think I mentioned it earlier this week, is Lord of the Gap. Now, the Gap is something that's always perceived as something negative. There's a gap between where I'm now and where I want to be. And a gap normally signifies something you can fall down into because it's a, a lower level and you need to jump over the gap get a bridge over the gap or fly over the gap however it means you get over the gap that's the important thing the other thing is that the gap can become smaller so you can just step over it and that's basically the idea that I want to share with you this morning now Lord of the Gap is the authority that keep charge of what happens with the gap in your life now the gap is similar to the concept of the opposer it's a similar concept like gravity it's something that worked in against you it's evil when you look at it from a certain perspective but it's necessary when you look at it from another perspective without gravity life cannot be sustained because everything will float in mid-air there won't be any trees in the ground they will be unrooted floating together with soil and stones and grass and seeds and all that and water it's all just a mishmash of you know debris flying around and it will be impossible to do something so you need to be grounded in order to be grounded you need a weight that pulls you down and you need weight in yourself now the concept of a weight is shekinah glory glory means to have weight and the glory actually allows you to be pulled down onto firm foundation on the ground or onto um, the Torah or onto whatever you find your foundation on. So your glory is your stature, who you are. You can also have additional glory that's added to you, additional weight that is the anointing of Yahweh or it can be the anointing of the Nachash. So it depends on which side you're playing or which side of the gap you're on. It will determine what weight you carry. Now the weight that you carry gives you the ability to stand firm and then to perform work within this realm that you are grounded in. And that work that you perform is basically your calling, your mission or your own desires. Now where the forces of the gap come into play is that one force is pulling you the other force is pushing you now if they work in the same direction you will be moved if they work against one another and they equal in in, in size you will be stagnant and if it's the force um, the one is stronger than the other it will pull you in whichever direction the stronger um, force is now the forces at play within the world of duality can be described by the hand of spiritual and physical where spiritual is as seen as the right side and that's basically based on the Hebrew language as well you write from right to left things come from the spiritual flow to the physical which is the left side now the forces at play that work in your life on the layer or the, the membrane of the spiritual is left and right spiritual and physical and the gap exists between the physical and the spiritual and you are born on the side of the physical the left and you need to cross over that's the word Ibri 
over the gap so that you can enter into the spiritual, the right side. And the Lord of the gap needs to lose his power in order for the gap to be small enough so you can step over, you can cross over. And the idea we get from that is the picture of the Red Sea, the picture of the Royal Jordan that opened up. So it created the, the opportunity to walk through it, to go through it, or to cross over it in safety. And the powers that be were um, opposed, and Yahweh's hand allowed that force not to have an effect on you, and you can cross over easily. Now, in the same way, the spiritual and the physical is are two opposing forces. The one is negative, the other one's positive. The one is north, the other one's south. Um, you can look at them in relation to one another. You'll see the one is holy, the other one's evil. But they both need to exist for this world of duality to exist as well. So when you look at it from that perspective, it's just a force. And like we saw with Balaam's donkey, the angel came. And the angel became the Nachash, the opposer. Or not the Nachash, the Asatan. He became the opposer, which Yahweh sent. So Yahweh can also have an opposing force that push you in the right direction. So it's the, the matter of which side you are pushed towards and the opposing force is coming from, that will define it as good or as evil. If the force is pushing you towards the left, it's the Nachash. If the force is pushing you towards the right, it's Yahweh, the Mashiach. So the opposing force has Satan or Satan is not evil in itself. It's the direction of Satan that caused the problem. To, to make it a bit clearer, the shepherd has got a sheepdog. The sheepdog helped to get the sheep into the gate. In that case, the sheep um, the sheepdog is the Satan or Hasatan. So from the sheep's perspective, oh, this is an evil force. It's biting at my heels. I need to run fast. But the sheepdog is pushing you into the direction of the gate where you need to enter into. So that's a good opposing force. So that just put things in a bit, bit of perspective. So what we need to clarify in our minds we need to see where we are in relation to our own desires are they aligned towards the left or are they aligned towards the right because your internal forces the way um, you make decisions um, where you want to be in life uh, what you want to achieve whether you submit to Yahweh's will your own will or the will of this world will determine which direction you go and that will make your will good or evil in itself so it's not bad to have a desire to want to do something as long as it's in line so you don't have to throw out everything that you want in this life you just need to align it in the same direction so the forces can push you towards the right or can pull you towards the right including your desires so that's all i want to share regarding Bal Pior. i hope you have a wonderful day and i will speak to you tomorrow so we will unpack this parasha and hopefully it's a blessing to you all. I'll speak to you soon. Shalom.